Welcome back everyone to cppforbeginners.com's continuing C++ tutorials. This is going to be lesson 26b. Um, hopefully you guys have done your homework because if not you're fired! No. Um, Alright, so the homework was to generate an array, type of your choosing, that you'll fill in with a for loop. Um, I actually just did that in the last one, so you could really copy that. I was hoping you guys wouldn't just look at my source code and, you know, do the exact same thing, but try to do it on your own before you totally gave up hope. I'm not sure if anybody's going to do that or if that's happened by this point, because no one's really made it into the homework lessons. Now, the way that you're going to do this uh, with a C in, which was the extra credit, is going to be a little bit more difficult. So here's what we're going to do. Assuming that we're still running with the same uh, property tenants array of type int from last go around, all we would really need to do is construct a, a for loop where i equals zero, i is less than the overall length of the array, and just increment i. All you would really need to do is c in property tenants. And technically you wouldn't even really need another array to output it at this point. What you could just do is C out, do an endl, um, and then property tenants of i, which I left off the of i part on this one, which would be terrible. And that's really all you would have to do to fill up an array. We said earlier that it was going to be 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So in this case, I'm just going to fill it and say, t no, that was over there, uh, 10. And of course, it would spit out like that, <laughs> 15, 20, 25, 30. And I think everybody just saw what I did wrong there. I put the end L on the wrong side because I'm not professional and plan these lessons out that well. I have a friend sitting next to me who just saw how well I plan these things out, so um, we'll try this again. Just do 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And so that's how you would see in to propagate an array. Um, I'm not saying that this is the only way. It's not by a long shot. There's, like I say, for pretty much every homework assignment, there's a hundred ways to do this right. And just because I say it's right does not mean that it's even close. So there's always a better way to do it. If you guys have come up with something more elegant or more fun, you know, feel free, share it below. Um, I'm going to keep this one short. I'm not going to dwell on dwell on the, the particulars of it. I just wanted to show you guys that this is how simple uh, an array declaration can be when we just see in and see out. So... For now, I'm going to leave it at that. My name's Damien. Please join us for more tutorials. Um, we're going to be getting more in-depth with arrays, talking about how you can and can't declare them, um, and maybe going into some dynamic declarations of them, but I'm not sure if I want to talk about pointers yet. So, for now, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and come back for more.